All right, well, the news broke a day or two ago. I'll leave an article in the comment section below, but basically, Paramount has taken BET off the market. So, you know, for the past several months, it was a, okay, did Tyler Perry buy BET or not? What's going on with the auction, you know, with a bunch of bidders trying to take majority stake ownership in BET? So, it boils down to this. Paramount wanted three billion dollars in terms of all the interested parties tyler perry was reported to be the highest bidder with two billion dollars with a bunch of negotiations behind the scenes it turns out that neither side was willing to budge basically paramount was like hey three billion or nothing tyler's like look best i got is two billion take it or leave it and well it fizzled out and there is no majority owner of BET. Things are pretty much going to remain the same. And look, some people are like, man, come on, Tyler. I mean, you, you, could, you could have put up a billion dollars more. But here's the thing. When people talk like that, it's like, look, I get it. You look at these people like, well, they're billionaires and whatnot. And, you know, they should be able to squeeze out another billion. If you went to a car dealership because, you know, you called ahead, you, you know, placed, you know, your, um, wager on a car and you know let's say okay hey i want to pay three thousand dollars for this car but then you get there because you know you're the highest bidder and then the guy who owns the place like you know what you know, uh, we want four thousand instead you know what you would be pissed if you had to shell out another thousand dollars it would be like look three thousand no more or we're done no negotiation guess what you take your money and you go somewhere else same thing applies here. The only difference is the numbers are bigger. So without Tyler taking over BET, I guess things are going to remain the same. I mean, I am really curious as to whether or not um, Tyler Perry is going to sign a new contract with Viacom or take his projects and go elsewhere. I think that's the thing I'm most curious about. Not to mention, I think BET missed a golden opportunity here because something tells me that if nobody else was willing to bid two billion or more, that should tell you that the BET majority stake ownership certainly isn't worth three billion dollars. Personally, I think they're making a mistake, and no, I'm not just saying this because it's like, well, Jeremy, of course you want Tyler to take it because that means endless content for you to review. While that's true, I'm looking at it from the different perspective of Look at BET as it is now. I mean, you take away the Tyler Perry element and BET is going to crumble. And this could have been a perfect opportunity to kind of shift things around. But unfortunately, that's not the way it's looking. So who's to say what will happen in the future? I mean, who knows what the strike that's going on right now might, you know, how that might impact things. But for now, just know that BET is not getting purchased by Tyler Perry. Um, you know, Puffy, Shaq nobody they took it off the market let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll talk to you all in the next one